Friends, these two motors which you can see here, we have to make starter for these two motors. As you know that, if you want to turn on and off any motor, then for this, you need to use contactor. Now we have two motors here, so we need two contactors here. Now for protection of these two motors, we need overload relay. So I took overload relay and I connected relay with lower side terminals. Now we need overload relay for this motor also. So I connected this overload relay with this contactor in the same way. Among these two motors, only one motor should run at a time. If one motor is on, then second motor must not turn on. So for this, I need to use selector switch here. You have seen that to turn on and off contactor, we use push buttons. But here I will use only selector switch and through this only, I will turn on and off contactor. Now to turn on this motor, I have to provide three phase power supply. Along with this, we need neutral power supply also to turn on this contactor because this contactor operates on 230 volt. Now from this power supply, I will connect 1-1 wire and to this contactor, I will provide input power supply. Now if this contactor turn on, then in this condition, power supply which is connected here, we will get this power supply on this terminal of overload relay. That is, at T1, T2, T3 terminal here, we will get power supply. So from these three terminals, I will connect wires and to this motor provide power supply directly. The way we did wiring of this motor, in the same way we will do wiring of this motor. That is, first connect three phase power supply with the contactor. After this power supply which we will get from overload relay, we will provide this power supply to this motor. So wiring for providing power supply to motor is completed. Now we have to do wiring only to turn on this contactor. Now if we want to turn on this contactor, then for this, what we have to do, power supply of all the three phase here, among these three phase power supply, you can use any one phase for control wiring. For now, this blue phase wire here, from this, connect one wire and with the common terminal of selector switch, connect this wire. If I select one number position in selector switch, then this contactor here must turn on. For this, what I will do, in this selector switch, after selecting one number position, at the terminal where I will get power supply, from this terminal, I will connect one wire and with NC contact of overload relay, I will connect this wire. Benefit of using NC contact of overload relay here is, if high current starts flowing through motor, then in this condition, overload relay here will break the circuit. So I connected this wire with NC contact. Now from output terminal of NC contact, connect one wire and with A1 terminal of contactor, connect this wire. Now to operate this contactor, we need to provide neutral power supply also. So directly from here, I will connect neutral power supply with A2 terminal. So to turn on this contactor, all connections are completed. Now to turn on this contactor, I will use two number position of selector switch. For this, what I will do, this wire which is connected here, I will loop a wire from this and with second NO contact of this selector switch, I will connect this wire. It means to common terminal, I looped a wire. Now if I select two number position in selector switch, then power supply which is already connected here, at the point where I will get power supply of this, connect one wire and to NC contact of overload relay, provide input power supply. Now output terminal of NC contact of overload relay here, that is 96 number terminal here, connect one wire with this terminal and with A1 terminal of this contactor, connect this wire. Now we have to provide neutral power supply only to operate this contactor. For this, what I will do, from this neutral power supply, connect one wire and with A2 terminal of this contactor, connect this wire. So here all the connections are now completed. Now if you select zero position in this selector switch, then both the motors will remain off. And when you select one number position in selector switch, then this motor will turn on. Similarly, on selecting two number position in selector switch, this motor will turn on. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.